Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Now if you're wondering why I'm a little late with this week's upload, it's because I was on a secret mission picking up this sweet little bundle of joy as a surprise for our kids for Christmas. But I'm home now, so let's get started on this week's foot. If you'd like to see the moment that they got to meet their new pup Meadow, I'll put that at the end of this video, so stick around for that. Now this foot, what we're looking at here is the potential to have problems on both toes at this point. So we gotta get to work on this, finish trimming it up and investigate what we got here. So as we take a closer look here, we've got some hemorrhaging in that typical sole ulcer spot on that lateral claw, but the real problem is over here on the medial. So we're gonna have to take a good look here and figure that out. But first I need to make sure that this lateral claw doesn't have any problems in it, just in case I need to put a block on. And luckily for her, these marks are from past disturbances. So let's get started on this medial claw and uncover the real problem. Now, if you've ever wondered what would happen if there were problems on both claws and what I would do about that, I'll put a link in the description that will take you to a video that explains exactly what I do in those cases. If you've watched past videos and you've wondered how does this guy know that he's not going to cut into something or cut too deep with that knife underneath all that. And the way I do that is just with my knife. It's a, got a specifically designed tip on it that allows me to hook the loose horn and pull it away as I cut. And that way I don't have to worry about hitting any underlying corium or any underlying tissue that may be there. Now what we're looking at here is actually an ulcer situation. It's really hard to see because there's so much debris packed up underneath this false sole, but once I get this cleaned up a little bit, it'll become quite evident. So before I get the cleanup started on this, I'm going to get a block glued to that other claw to take the pressure off this injured one. Now the reason I started at the beginning of the video investigating those cracks on that lateral claw is because I knew the medial was going to be a problem. So I was going to need a block on this foot if that lateral claw didn't have problems in it. If there were problems in it, I wouldn't be able to put that block on and I wanted to know that ahead of time because that would have changed how I approached trimming this medial claw. So that's why I did that. Now you can see, as I'm starting to clean this away, you can start to see where that ulcer is. All that debris was packed in there, had that all covered up. So we'll get that cleaned up and then we'll zoom in, get a real good look at it. Once again, in this video, you'll hear cows mooing in the background. It's not this cow in distress. It's this cow over here, who's voicing her displeasure, wanting to go back to her group, but she needs to get her feet trimmed first. Here you can get a good look at the extent of this ulceration. You can see I've got some more work along these edges to clean up a little bit of that white line, a little more cleanup on that ulcer, and then we're gonna get a salicylic acid wrap on that just to take care of any bacteria that may have infected that lesion. Thank you. 
And one of the favorite parts for me is watching them walk away pain-free at the end of each video. Now stick around, you get to see the kids get their surprise Christmas present, Meadow. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one. I've got your present. <laughs> Is that Janelle? Yes! Oh, I know she is so cute. Isn't she cute? She slept most of the way home. So Can I take her out? Lots of energy, sure. She's cute. Best surprise ever. My yeah. She is a um, purebred golden retriever. Wait, so that's why you started videotaping the entire time? I should have known something was wrong. <laughs>